Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jayla Corian. This is my vlog channel and I have an update video for you guys. Just talking, updating you guys on my life. Um, I felt the need to do this because I was about to go MIA on everyone and I deleted all the apps off my phone. Like I was legit about to like go ghost <laughs> and I felt like I couldn't do that just because I have a lot of people, you know, um, making sure that I'm okay and that really care about me on the internet and I felt like that would kind of be wrong to do to you guys. Um, so yeah, where do we start? Okay, let's start with the positive. Next week I move into my apartment. Um, it's like a sweet style apartment so I will have roommates. As of right now I don't have any roommates so that's a plus. It's brand new, brand new building. I'll be the first person to move in um, but it doesn't have a living room. I was moving into an apartment apartment like where I would have a living room, like bedrooms, kitchen, it's all mine. But I felt like for just one year period um, I was doing too much of like one in my own spot and then it was 20 minutes away from the school. So I settled for something that was right on campus and something that was new and I could decorate. So I have like already ordered my rooms to go stuff. Um, I have like a whole bedding set. I ordered like a desk. Like my room is going to be so pretty. It's going to be my happy place while I'm in Maryland just because Maryland is a place that I don't want to go back to. And let me give you some backstory if you're new or like to clarify, you know, my reasonings for not really being excited to go to Maryland. Like I make the best of all experiences. But basically, when I was in high school, I it was my mission to go to school out of state. I was in my mind I did not want to live in North Carolina. North Carolina was depressing to me. It was the middle of nowhere. I wanted out. My out was I wanted to go to school in New York, but New York was too expensive and I settled for going to school in Maryland and getting into a program that allowed me to go to New York for one year. The downfall with this program is you have to return back to the school. So I was exposed to this amazing lifestyle that I like so much and now I have to go back to a lifestyle that I don't really like. On top of that, um, the whole program itself is amazing, but just everything included into my life, like I moved from North Carolina to Maryland, that's a six hour difference. Then I moved to New York, then over the summer and winter breaks and Thanksgiving, I go back home to North Carolina. It's just like I'm jumping all over the place. North Carolina, Maryland, New York, North Carolina, Maryland, New York. You know, like I don't feel like I have a home. I'm like have friends everywhere. I don't have a set group of people that I hang out with 24 7 because it depends on where I'm at my life constantly changes even when I was um, in college like in Maryland in college I like change every semester I like move to a different dorm like I've been moving my whole <laughs> my whole like college experience and that can I guess the type of person I am like me wanting like consistency and I like consistency um that's been hard for me so this past school year in New York, I did think about dropping out of school um, just because, not because school is hard or anything like that, but because the specific program I'm in, it I'm not happy doing it. Like, of course, I did it. I didn't know what it was to come. You know, I didn't know what to expect of it, and I was hopeful that I would like it, but um, it doesn't make me happy. In the time that I said that I was thinking about not going back to school, which I was just like, oh, I'm just going to like take online classes somewhere else. Um, my dad was like, no, like you've came all this far. Why would you drop out now? And me, I felt like, like you're not thinking about my happiness. Like I'm not happy. And my mom was kind of like, this is a decision you have to make on your own. And... Um, I don't know, my decision was to continue to push forward this last year, even though I, it's a struggle for me. Um, I'm literally going back to a school that I know no one. Like, I'm going to be a freshman all over again. Not technically, but like, technically. Like, moving to New York, I was a freshman all over again. Like, I'm constantly put in these situations where I'm like, a freshman all over again, not knowing anything, not knowing anyone. And that's so annoying. <laughs> but I'm going to make the best of it. People ask me all the time, like, Jayla, why can't you just stay in New York or, like, continue your education elsewhere? The program that I'm in, like, 
if I don't get my degree at that college, I can't get my, like, I won't obtain, even though I did, like, my whole year at the Fashion Institute of Technology, I won't get that degree without getting my other degree. It's like a binding type of thing. Like, if you do the program, you have to complete the program to get your degrees, or you can't get any of it. So, <laughs> that's stressful, right? So, if I drop out of school, I'll have to start over my whole, like, college experience, basically. Yeah. I feel like some people would understand my unhappiness and then some people wouldn't. Um, but either way, I'm finishing my last year of school and this is going to be like a countdown, legit. And I just can't wait for it to be over. <laughs> I can't wait for it to be over. And people are saying like, oh, you're going to like miss being in college so much. Like I've had the best experience in college. Like so many amazing things, so many bad things that happened to me that made me amazing. Um... But it's just something I won't miss. Like, I dream of the day of having my own place that I call my home. Like, once I get an apartment somewhere that I am going to settle down in, which will possibly be New York, I'm not moving for, like, years. <laughs> like, once I pick a place, I'm staying there for forever. I don't have a desire to keep moving. Um, yeah. I'm really excited. Like, that's what I dream of when I graduate. Getting to be in a place that I can call home. So the next update is my breakup. Um, recently, I just got back from New York. New York was the last place I felt like was home. So I need to go back there. I need to see my friends. I needed to go to the places I was used to going to. I needed to tie up some ends. I did see my ex. We did talk. Um, that was relieving just because I'm a closure person. Like... I need to ask all the questions I need to ask and I need to feel better for myself. So um, I got to do that. I got to, you know, just hang out with people that care about me and, you know, have fun in New York for a little bit, get my mind off things. And um, I got to really, like, think about what happened and what my sadness was because I was really trying to pinpoint, like, what my sadness was. My sadness wasn't that I was cheated on. Like, I've been cheated on before. You know, like, that wasn't really it, but I had to really take into account all the other things going on in my life, and um, I just put a lot of trust into him, and somebody that I'm with, I just tell a lot of things, and they're, like, my go-to person, so it was, like, losing my best friend, in a sense, even though I do have a best friend, but, like, losing somebody I'm really close with, and along with, like, me moving, and, you know, like, just starting over, like, that type of friendship with somebody is draining so yeah I kind of lost that person in my life and like I said I don't like let a lot of people in so to have somebody let in and then them just like you know say whatever that kind of hurt so I had to reevaluate like what really hurt and what made me sad about the relation losing the relationship and that was basically it um so yeah, I, I figured that out with the help of my friends. We like talked a lot and um, tried to pinpoint like, you know, what makes Jayla happy in my time in New York. So also some other things that happened in the past week that also shaped like just like my thoughts on everything and me like wanting to like be done with a lot of things. Um, some old people in my life that, you know, I would consider like a friend on a friend basis. I found out some information about them that I, they were lying to me and I'm just like, I can't trust anyone. That's like my feeling. And on top of me feeling like, dang, like I don't know who I can trust in my surroundings and around me. I'm also like climbing the ladder to success. So that makes it like that adds like a whole nother layer of just like ugh, onto my life. I, like I don't know how to explain it. It's just like a very unsettling feeling to feel like you can't trust the people around you, but you're like doing really good in like your career, like school, like everything's going good, but it's the people around you that you like can't trust. And it kind of makes me scared. I'm not going to lie. It makes me scared that I'm going to be really, really successful and really lonely because I can't trust anybody um I'm like trying to still have hope in 
people because it's not even just a guy thing like I have had girlfriends who I had to cut off because they wanted to run their mouth about something I told or you know they just weren't loyal to me so I'm dealing with a lot of non-loyal people in my life right now and I'm just like I don't want to deal with anybody like I'm just going to stay here in my corner and do me. So guys that was my little update just on how I'm feeling and my emotions and just what I'm thinking right now in life. I don't want the things that have happened to me to make me not a loving person, not caring, not giving because I'm all of those and I'm very, very loyal to the people that are loyal to me. Just because I ran into a few bad eggs in the batch does not mean that that should change me as a person. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep being successful. My life is amazing. So I'm really trying to like just because I had this bad moment like that doesn't mean I should stop going or stop pushing. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I hope you continue to follow along my journey in college and moving into adulthood. You can subscribe to my channel somewhere. I don't know where they'd be moving the subscribe button but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!